My name is Eston Mugal. I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Kusamala Institute of Agriculture and Ecology. Malawi as a country, I think there's a lot that Kusamala Institute of Agriculture and Ecology is sharing to, uh, to, the, to the nation that it's possible to do sustainable agriculture, it's possible to have good environment management, it's possible to have food, real food security, not just growing maize. Food security is not maize. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm the director of Kusamala Institute of Agriculture and Ecology. We are working on four different components. We are providing trainings to our staff in permaculture and agroecology so that they can take this information back to their communities. Moringa mene yu, azweta ndizo nchito, kumbali ya food and nutrition, komano so kumbali so ya mankwala. We do a lot of trainings for different organizations and some government uh, department. We help them with permaculture trainings. But again, this type of trainings, they are hands-on. It's not PowerPoint trainings, flip charts and just chalkboard in hotels. It's next to the demonstration. The second component that we are focusing on is demonstration and advocacy. Kusamala oversees Nature's Gift Permaculture Center, which is our demonstration site. It's about 20 hectares to demonstrate different ways of using permaculture. The third component that we are focusing on is research and evaluation. We are encouraging researchers from all over the world to come here and conduct research on permaculture and agroecology, comparing it to conventional agriculture or talking about climate change and how this might mitigate climate change. We would like to be on the forefront of conducting research that shows that this does work and in what cases where it might not work. Um, I use, uh, my chicken tractors, so. The fourth component that we are focusing on is education and outreach. Uh, last year we had uh, about 253 individuals who came here for training. About 60% of those were women. We have started this program of permaculture this year. The program is dealing with vegetable growing. Our hope is to have a feeding system, a feeding program for the learners so that they can be fed whilst they are here learning at school. The students have really liked it and they, since they are also using it for their lessons, for example in uh, expressive arts, they are using the vegetables for cook, their cooking. Looking to food security, I think we have been, not only in Malawi, in Africa, I think we really don't understand food security. Okay? Uh, like for us in Malawi, food security for most people is having more means. Okay? But food security is not means. I think what we are missing is food and nutrition security. But how can we do this if we don't design and grow those crops that will bring us food security? 